What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. Bep, another game caught news update. Today, we're talking about how can we improve the running game. But before I go any further, man, I need you to do one of three things. One, like the video. Like, 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 like the video. I know a lot of you guys are an amazing job. You always like the videos. Keep coming. Uh, some of you guys, it's the first time that you have visited my channel. Please like the videos. Two, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Self-explanatory If you like this content Please subscribe to the channel Also notification bell Notification bell Like you know Every time I drop a video And three Share the video it Helps out a ton uh, Let YouTube know That this is a great video Shares it more Than the algorithm But We've been talking this week About a few things About Marcus uh, Statterfield I said Statefield The other day But Statterfield um, And the office of uh, Struggles that we've been having and the main thing that Game Cock Nation has been talking about is the offensive line, uh, which was supposed to be one of the uh, premier groups in uh, veteran premier groups that's coming back and, and should have been uh, probably our strength is becoming our weakness. Uh, I'm hearing that, you know, maybe the offensive scheme may be too uh, too much. We need to simplify it. I'm hearing that, look, man, if you can't do the offensive line, you can't do anything, but we're going to read an article, uh, uh, a snippet from an article, 247sports.com. Those who know, know I love 247sports.com. And we're going to just talk about this real quick, uh, to say the least. So let's go to the article, shall we? This is, again, reported by 247sports.com. It talks about the running back woes and how to fix it. It says, South Carolina game, game Cox offense coordinator Marcus Statterfield shares your frustration. A team that returns one of the most productive running backs in the SEC and the most of his offensive line that can't find any way to run the ball with consistency, it chaps his hide too. What's going wrong? Why can't South Carolina do better than 126.75 yards per game after hitting 167.9 a season ago? How does the average per carry drop by more than two yards? Well, this broken record ever get fixed? That's the answer. That's the answer we're trying to answer right now. I think it's a combination. I'm going to try to answer this because I know it is so painful when you watch it. Statfield said Wednesday during his weekly gather with members of the media. I can imagine my dad yelling at me about the running game. So I'm trying to answer this in a way that actually gives good information. We're not running the ball the way we should, obviously. Do we have the personnel to run the runs we're running? 100%. Will the running game get better as the quarterback gets healthier? Probably. The quarterback, Luke Doty, is still recovering from a mid-August foot injury that forced him to miss the first two games. He's filled on the team with 19 yards rushing. So Quandre White leads all game cost ball carry with 167 yards, followed by Juju McDowell, who has 126 Masha Lord is third with 98. Kevin Harris, who led the team with 35 carries, has 92 yards. I think it's the other night where we had two or three runs with the backfield timing and just certain angles. We pushed the running back just a little bit. Couldn't get back the double team where it went for a one-yard game as opposed to a six-yard game. That if I said, some of the is the O-line. Some of it is play calling. Some of it is this time. It's this position group that didn't do what they were supposed to do. The next time it's a position group didn't do what they were supposed to do. So let's 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 stop right there. Stop right there. Because I wanna kinda break this down right right quick. You know, and a lot of you guys understand, man, when you're installing a new system, it takes time for things to gel. It's gonna look pretty ugly starting off. Starting off. And, yeah, we had more rushing yards last year, but we was a bad team. As far as the way we was coached, as far as the way we, we did things, we was a very good team. So, for Kevin Harris to have, you know, lead the SEC in rushing, but that didn't equate in the wins, did not help us a ton. This year, he's coming back from injury. Doesn't look like himself. A lot of commentators said that, you know, something's going on with Kevin Harris. He doesn't look like himself. He doesn't look like the powerful back last year that was churning yards. Uh, another fact that I think that will help us tremendously when Luke Doty gets uh, 100% healthy because he's going to add to the running game and, 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 and boost up those yards. 
I think that you got to find a guy and stick with him. You can't you can't throw all three guys out there. Um, I at first at the, at the beginning of the season I was like, mm, you know, we got three stud backs. You know, McDowell, we got Z, we got Marshawn, Marshawn Lloyd, and we got Kevin Harris. We got four actually, and I haven't seen Z since the first game of the season. What happened? We don't know. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Juju McDowell, Marshawn Lloyd. I haven't seen a lot of him. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, do you just give the rock to one guy and then sub out him? I mean, do you? Do you is Kevin Harris the type of back that you got to keep feeding him until he gets going? Um, offensive line, yes. I mean, that's a huge gap. But I think the game against Troy, we're going to have our running game kind of solidify a little bit better. You got to think we played Georgia. Uh, and Georgia's stats were not that great to South Carolina. Um, last week, like I said, we couldn't run. We couldn't really. I mean, we threw the ball, but we was kind of in a stalemate. I don't know if Kentucky's defense had our number or the fact that we just didn't execute. And I think that play calling is a key sometimes as well. So it's not a one-word answer to kind of help fix our offensive running game. I think that we just have to um, just continue to be patient. Um, continue to know that, look, man, these next three games, our running game may be fluctuated to look like it did last season, you know, because I think we can run against Troy. I know we can run against Kentucky, and I know we can run against Tennessee. And then with that momentum, hopefully that transpires to playing against a better team because for South Carolina to have a, a chance to beat a team we're not supposed to, we have to control the clock. We have to control our clock, and we have to let our defense get a chance to really play out there. We have 10 turnovers this season. Uh, we are one of the best defenses in the SEC at causing turnovers. You know, if it's not a pick, if it's not a fumble, it's a quarterback sack, it's a quarterback hurry, um, I would like to see, as far as special teams, we, we get a little bit more, you know, creative as far as, like, you know, blocks, uh, punt return, kickoff return, you know, something like that. Uh, Beamer ball, as, as they call it. Uh, so, I think that you, you we may just have to just give it to one guy and stick with that one guy and, and sub whoever's going to be in, in their end. Um, as much as Z did, I don't, I, don't know if, I, I don't know why he's not in the game. I don't know why Marshawn Lloyd, we're not seeing more of him. Cause I thought it'd be Kevin Harris and Marshawn Lloyd, and Juju McDowell is kind of sneaking in there and getting those those plays. And I think that right now they're just going with the running backs that are hot. And instead of that, let's establish a running back. Cause last year Kevin Harris had most of the touches. He had most of the touches, so he was able to go. But he wasn't injured. He's injured this year. So if Juju's the guy, let him go. If Lloyd's the guy, let him go. If White, if McDowell, I said McDowell. If Kevin if Harris. Let him go. But here's what I need you to do, man. I'm just a man behind the camera. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think uh, that our, our running game needs to be fixed? And what do you think that it, uh, can fix it right there in the comment section below? Right there. Again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator. And please, don't forget all three. Lucky Mary back with another Game Caught News update. And yes, we're talking about the running game ahead of the Troy game. Uh, but I need y'all to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> it's the next time, people.